Most people know about editing video on your phone using CapCut for TikTok or YouTube Shorts, etc. You can also use your iPad, but did you know you can use it on a desktop as well, PC or Mac, and even doing more complicated work. You never have to leave the app. On this channel, I talk about mobile tools a lot, video, shooting, editing, et cetera. But the cool thing is most of these tools today are much more than just mobile. And so it's great to be able to use it like that, but then also do more complicated jobs like for YouTube, et cetera. Now I did a previous video on using CapCut and doing YouTube shorts, but today I wanna to talk about using it in a more traditional method and creating more traditional videos like a YouTube video, like the one I'm doing right now. All right, so I'm going to do a quick demo using the desktop version of CapCut. And the first thing you gotta do is download it from their site. So I did that and it's free. You don't have to sign up. And then I'm on a Mac and so all you do is drag the downloaded app into the applications folder and you're ready to go. All right, so now I'm in CapCut and it looks like any other editor you might see. But I think the cool thing about it is it is really designed to be easy to use. And so again, I'm used to it on my phone or on my iPad, which it's easy to use there. And this is very similar to that layout. You just have more real estate, which is great. I have all my media here and I've already dropped some in the timeline. And so what I'm going to do is show you a couple things that I like to do when I'm editing. And the first one would be to drop in some music and then use a tool they have called auto beat which is done by an ai and so basically it'll just tell you where the beats are in the song and it does it by adding a dot there and so now you know that's where the beat is and if you wanted to do two beats you would do beat two and so you can see there again going along there and so what's cool about that is if you're editing to music you can then easily know where a beat is and just line up your your video track right there on a beat. But this particular video I'm working on, it's not a music video. And so you just drag your clips in the timeline, again, just like any other editor you're used to, and you can instantly come up here and make adjustments. You've got color correction tools built right in. You could do a LUT. And the best thing is, again, this is all for free. Now they do have pro features that you can subscribe to, but I've not used them. I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying that I've been able to do some incredible work by using just the free features. Like here in the color correction, you can do auto adjust for pro. And that is nice, but I've been able to manage without it. And so it's pretty cool what you can do. You've got vignettes, you can adjust your shadows, you can adjust the contrast, et cetera. And so whatever you wanna do, really you can do. And then not only that, you can come over here to the filters and they have different looks already pre-built. And so there's one here for Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is kind of big right now. And so drop that on there and you can see it did kind of a funky looking retro. I don't know exactly what it did, but <laughs> that could be cool depending on what you're doing. But the point is this app that again, I've used in the past for short form can really be used for long form. Oh, and one thing I should bring up is right away, you probably notice that I'm editing in 16 by nine. You have a button down here for ratio and you've got all the traditional aspect ratios, 16, nine, four, three, two, three, five, one, eight, five. And then of course, including vertical video. And so I think a lot of people had thought that CapCut originally, and maybe it was originally, it was only for vertical video on TikTok, but no, you can edit in all types of aspect ratios, which again, if you're doing a YouTube video, a full YouTube video, then more times than not, it would be in 16 by nine. So that's great. And then of course, you've got all kinds of transitions and transitions, you can do transitions in pretty much any app. But one thing I like about these transitions is again, they're all included here, or a lot of them are, you can see I'm scrolling through them, there's tons of them, but you can add them and they instantly do a really kind of high end looking effect. So again, depending on what you're doing, it's great to have these options. So you've got color correction, you got transitions, You've got ability to adjust audio. And one thing about audio, let me talk about that real quick. And I think this is pretty cool. You have voice effects built right in, which is basically reverb. So you can see your map and even doing more complicated work. That was an echo. You can do high pitched. Synth. It's like an auto-tune. 
So that stuff can be kind of gimmicky to a degree, but it also can be great depending on what you're doing, especially if you're doing some sort of fun type video. But even doing sound design, that stuff can come in real handy. Again, it's built in. Now they also have music. And so you've got tracks that come directly from their servers. And then you have ones that are cleared for commercial use. Then you have ones that are popular on TikTok. But again, this is all right in the app. You can download them and add them to your particular video. And so I think that's the main point here is really this app can be an all-in-one app. You can do everything within the app, really regardless of what kind of video you're making. And one thing I want to show, this is kind of, again, kind of a novelty, but it could come in pretty handy actually, is they have this feature that's called text to speech. And so I've already got some text I've typed out here and you come over here to text to speech and then you choose a voice. And what I like for traditional voiceover style is American male. This is a voiceover created entirely using CapCut and the text to speech function. Pretty cool, huh? And you can even do songs. This is a voiceover created entirely So you get the idea, but that can be pretty cool. That really actually can be pretty cool. You could do some short voiceovers, again, play with it and see what works best for you. Some of them sound better than others, but to do a little bit of a transitional voiceover or whatever, it's nice to have that built in. And then of course you can do captions in CapCut, which is great. You can do remove filler words. If this was a podcast, for example, I could go in and have it the AI remove filler words or tighten up and edit for me. And so again, this is just a general overview, but the great thing about CapCut is how you can just quickly grab stuff, drop it in, and you are ready to rock and roll. The video playback is very responsive. I'm on a six-year-old iMac here and I'm playing back 4K video and it's looking really good and playing back really easily. I was kind of surprised because again, I've really thought about CapCut on my phone or on my iPad. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I have to say, because you're using a free video editor from CapCut on your desktop and doing much more complicated work, including YouTube videos from start to finish. And as a matter of fact, the video you're watching right now, I used CapCut. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.